Hakan? Who are you? I'm a wolf in sheep's clothing, remember? Priest! <laughs> I didn't recognize you out of costume. Ah, it's good to see you again, my friend. You too. How's Kiara? She still has a father, thanks to you. If I remember correctly, it took both of us to get out of that cell. So how have you been? I'm trying my best not to squander the second chance I was given, but I may not have a choice. What's the trouble? Aron, one of the men who lives here, happens to work at the guard barracks in the upper city. I asked him to do some snooping around for me, but he hasn't returned. You're afraid something's happened to him? His sister is. She always worries for him. But she has a point. If I've put Aron in danger, and the woman who runs this little halfway house in the garbage finds out, Kayara and I will be out on our ear. I could check on Aron for you. If he's in some sort of trouble, maybe I can pull him out. <laughs> you do have a knack for it, I'll give you that. Do you still have that priest outfit of yours? As it happens, I do. <laughs> Good. Aron is a custodian at the guard barracks in the upper city. That outfit is going to get you through the door. to Lara. Do kids don't authority where you come from, Ishiki? I think it's part of growing up, pushing boundaries. Are they in danger? No. The guards threaten, but when they were young, they threw rocks at guards too. not freed, they could be sacrificed, assassinated. I urge you to be wary, Ahau. We've broken the uprising, but they are still around. Alone, you are a target. I'm confident I can deal with any rebel I meet. <laughs> well said. They can't stand against us. Although, they did fight like demons. The collection of reeds bundled together with rope and stone is used as a calendar, usually representing a 52-year cycle. Priest, some of our brave warriors have just won the day in the name of Kukulkan. I think they deserve a blessing, don't you? Uh, of course, yes. 
Wonderful. They will be honored. Through here. Be alarmed, I'm... That's what you're looking for. These symbols don't make any sense. It's almost like code or... Oh, 
Shkunu chul le kenin kastech. Matu beita la taki kabach tak tu pikan il kabo. Matubeita la taqui kabach tak tu pikan il kabo. Goten, kubeital, itzik balon. Matunut stal tatan bashkunu chul le kenin kastech. Joglal paititi! Balón. Matubeita la taqui kabach tak tu pikan il kabo. Kukaba kukulkan. Matunut stal tatan bashkunu chul le kenin kastech. Salusul sal tu la. 
Goten, Kubeital, Inzig Balon. Baash le Helo. Janisul Sikech to men be you hets Mahutan Kukulkan. Baash. You made it out okay. Excellent. Aaron, this is the lady who broke me out of jail. Uh, it's a pleasure. Ah, which reminds me, I'm embarrassed to say, I've never asked your name. It's Lara. Well, Lara, as you can see, Aaron is back safe and sound. It seems I sent you on an errand for nothing. I'm sorry. Maybe not for nothing. Does this message mean anything to you? How did but you? When I went to check on Aaron, I saw him take out the guard. The priest? That was you? Yes. It was smart of you to run, Aaron. If those guards captured you, this message would have been lost for sure. I don't recognize the symbols they've used. It's a secret form of language Amaru uses to communicate with his people. Supposedly, it reveals the look. We believe it reveals the location of the High Council's nest. Only the members of his court know how to read it. 
You can decipher it. My sister Atsi, she... May I answer? Atsi was my wife. She was also once a follower of Amaru. She taught me to read their hidden language. You changed her mind about the cult? No one could change Atsi's mind about anything except Atsi. <sighs> she sounds like a very strong woman. I loved her very much. So, does the message tell us where we're going? We? <laughs> All right then. Do you know the abandoned village on the edge of the city? I can find it. Good. I'll meet you there. Aron, if we're not back within the hour, bring whoever you can. Can you manage that? Yes.